while we're just talking, there's a lot of fall and Halloween activities planned this weekend, but it really doesn't even feel like fall. It, it doesn't. <laughs> and you know, we've just kind of scratched the surface uh -huh. here. You think it's nice now. Just wait until you see what we've got to look forward to uh, this weekend. It's a weekend we've been kind of waiting for for uh, a long time. And now that it's finally here, I hope everybody has had the chance to make some outdoor plans and take full advantage of uh, what the gifts that Mother Nature is going to be giving us. Live pictures right now. Eldridge Roofing River Cave. You know, this is kind of my window here. We, we don't have windows here in the studio. And so uh, this is my window. And this is a good view. Not going to complain whatsoever. Uh, but I've spent a lot of time watching the uh, Rock River, and I'm just shocked to see uh, a scattering of boats that have been cruising up and down. And I would suspect that whoever has not taken their boat out for the season uh, may very well be hitting the water again here tomorrow and probably Sunday as well. And why not? Because we've got just an amazing weekend ahead of us. Uh, look at our temperatures today, which took the next step forward. Remember, yesterday we were in the mid 60s for highs today. We've gotten into the upper 60s, even the lower 70s. Pay no attention to Rochelle. Uh, the reporting station went offline earlier on this afternoon, and so we haven't been collecting data from them uh, since about one o'clock or so. That's why you see the blanks there. And that's the same story in Dixon where the instrumentation's been out for uh, quite some time. No matter what though, the current state of affairs has us in the upper 60s area wide. Nice breeze out of the south here, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. The warmth is just getting started, friends. We're looking at temperatures today, which are about seven, eight degrees above normal. Tomorrow we go into the double digits above normal. And then Sunday, Monday, we flirt with 20 degrees above normal. There you see it right there. And again, if we just do the simple math and say, let's just round it off and say normal high is 60. Add 20 degrees to that. Yeah, I think 80 degrees still a very real possibility, if not increasingly a likely to say the very least. We do rebound closer to normal here or we revert back closer to normal uh, toward the middle of the week, but I don't see anything cold by any means for the foreseeable future. Now what I do see here on Max Storm Tracker is a disturbance and a cold front that's aligning well off to the west. Now ordinarily you'd say, okay, maybe a day, day and a half that'll be here. Uh-uh, this isn't coming to us until Tuesday. So we've got a beautiful weekend to enjoy. Clear skies tonight. I still would recommend if you're heading out to the high school football games tonight, bring the hoodie or the light jacket because it will cool off quickly. I think that game time temperatures will be somewhere right around 60 degrees. By the time the games come to an end, we're probably in the low to mid 50s. Not cold by any means, but you'll probably want the jacket just uh, to layer up just a little bit. Uh, you will not need the, uh, the sweatshirt or any sort of uh, warm clothing tomorrow. As sunshine takes us again from start to finish, the wind blows out of the southwest. Maybe not as much of a breeze tomorrow compared to today and the recent days, but uh, still a nice breeze to say the very least. Sunshine then for us on Sunday. We just keep copying and pasting, adding a couple degrees to the ledger each and every day. This is day number 24 in a row without rainfall. There have only been 20 streaks longer than this in our recorded weather history, going all the way back to 1905, that have been longer than this. So this is quite remarkable. That's good for us to be able to enjoy time outdoors. Not good for our lawns, though. 32% or thereabouts under a severe drought right now and that is not going to be getting better anytime soon especially given the fact that over the next seven days there are just two very paltry chances for rain uh, with that cold front Tuesday and again early Wednesday temperatures back to 58 on Thursday and you know you might say gosh that seems cool but by the time we get to next Thursday that's exactly where we should be 58 <laughs> degrees so uh, the coolest day of the next seven is a normal day. Well, good. We'll take that. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Well, it's weekend.